You know him as the man who turned the entertainment industry upside down and as the entrepreneurial disruptor that is pioneering the millennial workplace. You know him from Netflix, but do you know who Reed Hastings was before he was a billionaire? For Valuetainment Media, I'm Gerard Harron and this is Before They Were Billionaires. Wilmot Reed Hastings Jr. was born on October 8, 1960 in Boston, Massachusetts to Joan Armory and Wilmot Reed Hastings. His father was an attorney for the U.S. Department of Health, Education, and Welfare. After graduating from private schools in Cambridge, Hastings continued his education at Bowdoin College where he studied mathematics. He also served in the Marine Corps officer training through their platoon leader class in 1981. He graduated in 1983 and joined the Peace Corps, a volunteer program run by the United States government which sends volunteers to developing nations around the world. He went to Swaziland and taught high school mathematics from 1983 to 1985. For me, I chose education because the Peace Corps had assigned me to be a teacher. It's enormously satisfying because you build up relationships with all the other people in the field, and then it really becomes this long-term contribution. After his time in the Peace Corps, Reed attended Stanford University as a postgraduate and earned his master's degree in computer science in 1988. He then embarked on a career as a computer software developer and accepted a job at Adaptive Technology. He worked under Audrey McLean, the CEO at that time, from who he learned the value of focus. Reed Hastings was an entrepreneur at heart and always wanted to start his own company. Along with Raymond Peck and Mark Box, he formed his first company, Pure Software, in 1991. The company which produced products to troubleshoot software grew rapidly over the ensuing years. The company doubled year over year for four years in a row. So it was an absolute rocket ship. However, the growing success of the company proved to be a challenge for Hastings as he realized that he was not prepared to manage such a rapidly growing company. An engineer by profession, he found the responsibilities of being the CEO quite daunting. The company went public in 1995 and Pure Software merged with Atria to form Pure Atria Corporation. However, some unforeseen issues cropped up after the merger and the combined company, Pure Atria, was acquired by Rational Software in 1997. Hastings considered his experience with Pure Software to be a vital lesson in his entrepreneurial career. I just felt like a failure because I was clearly making these big wrong decisions and so it gave me re uh, absolution or resolution because I could kind of, <clears throat> they were my confessor uh, and then I could forgive myself. Lightning struck in 1997 when Hastings collaborated with Mark Randolph to form a little company called Netflix. Netflix was conceived as a media rental service which offered flat rate rental by mail to customers in the United States. By 98, Netflix had started mail order DVD operations. Initially, customers were allowed to rent each DVD for a seven day period. The system was changed in 1999 and allowed subscribers to pay a set monthly fee to rent an unlimited number of DVDs. The company grew steadily over the years and Hastings became known for his innovative management strategies. Hastings offered extraordinarily high packages to employees in order to attract the best talents and he was also quick to fire those who were not putting in their best efforts. He employed aggressive expansion strategies and expanded Netflix throughout movie studio partnerships and marketing campaigns that emphasized the company's catalog of indie films, documentaries, and other movies not easily available through other services. Netflix shipped its billionth DVD in 2007 and today it has more than 65 million subscribers worldwide. In 2007, Hastings joined the board of Microsoft where he served until 2012. In 2011, he became a director on the board of Facebook, a position he still holds to this day. And in 2014, thanks to the success of original programs like Orange is the New Black and House of Cards, Reed Hastings, the entrepreneur, the engineer, and now the producer became a billionaire. Chances are, if you love Netflix, then you also love Kevin Hart, and you can see an awesome 75 minute interview between him and Patrick Bet David right here. And if you enjoyed Before There Were Billionaires, we have our entire playlist right here. For Valuetainment Media, I'm Gerard Harron, and this has been Before There Were Billionaires. The entertainment industry upside down, and as the. I don't know what to do with my hands.